Hi, Rick. Hey, Bart. How are you? I'm great. It seems like we haven't had you here for so a few weeks. Yeah, it's been at least two. I think it's been at least two. Mm -hmm. Summertime, you know, you do things in the summertime. You go places. Yeah. Well, I think one week you were off because you went down to see your mom, I believe. Yes. Right. So it could have been even three. I don't even know. But uh, time goes by, and every Friday's here like tomorrow. Well, with uh, this town and all the things to do and the beautiful lakes and the right. gro great weather, why go anywhere else? Well, I, I really do agree with that. I mean, yeah. for the summertime, I think there's, you know, it's just so many things, and especially the lakes and the golf courses and, and other activities. Even the downtown's got some good stuff going on. And, you know. People come here for their vacation. Well, I, I'm hoping they do. No, they do. Really? You They're, think there's quite well, a few? Well, they come from Ohio and Detroit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, you get down to Avery Shills, you get into the lakes down there, and you have lots of Ohio people. Because mm -hmm. not very far from them, and Ohio doesn't have very many lakes, and they come up here and stay on a lake. Yeah. Either rent or own or whatever they happen to do. So, you know, it's a great spot to be. Airbnb. In. Are there Airbnbs on Clark Lake? Um, I'll bet there are, but I don't know. Mm. I mean, because there are a few places for rent. In fact, I know of one because my cousin rents one. Really a nice place. It's got like two kitchens in it and uh, older home. Hmm. And so I bet they're here. I, they might, I bet you they're Airbnb. I bet they are. Uh, there's got to be. It's, you know, that's, that's, a, that's a big market right now for people, even though I'm not so sure I like some of that, depending on who would be staying in your house. I mean, I'd, like, I'd hate to think there'd be a bunch of yahoos like me and my old college buddies or something. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. You know? Yeah, I think of that, too. I was like, what kind of renter would I get if I'm a renter? What kind of renter would I be? Right. Yeah. Right. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't think I've done it. Maybe I have. I don't remember. What, Airbnb? Airbnb. You know, I don't think v that I have. My kids have. There's also VRBO. VRBO, right. And Airbnb. Yeah. But uh -huh. There's some in Jackson. I mean, there's uh, there's like there's a. I was looking. There's several homes like right in Jackson that people uh, that do say that it's a vacation in Jackson come stay here. So. You know, I, and I think a lot of people. That's about the only way they stay places. They like doing that, going to wherever. And mm -hmm. there's usually a home that they can rent, VRBO or whatever it happens to be. And I get it. I mean, and it's a home. And it's probably in pretty decent shape. And. Mm -hmm. Why not? You, know? in you fact, have to have a closet, owner's closet, and you keep a lot. Yeah, we should yeah. do that. You know, actually, I think, now that you say, I think my, wife, my wife's birthday is in a week, just over a week. Huh? And um, she's going to go with her sisters and daughter and another friend, and they're going to Nashville. And these girls are getting all their... Cowboy boots to whatever. Oh my so gosh! Yeah. They're going to look like uh, a wedding party because the the, yeah. the the wedding parties. That's the Nashville is the headquarters for that. Yeah. All the yeah, yeah bridal parties come. Uh, what do they call it? Bachelorette parties. Bachelorette parties. Yeah. And then they're usually the bride to be has a some kind of a you know mm -hmm. thing on her head, whatever there. But uh, yeah. so there you go. And I think they rented. I guess the point was I think they rented a VRBO house somewhere oh. close to downtown, and. They all can be together, and they're in this house. You know, there's like five or six of them, whatever there is, and and I'm sure they'll have a good time. You know, you talk about. You ever been to Nashville? Never. I've been. I've been there a couple of times, and pretty cool city to go downtown. You know, and just full of entertainers, full of talent, and it's fun to go into some of those different bars mm -hmm. and see the entertainment and see the people. And then it seemed like the thing I remember the most it seemed like so many people did line dances. You know, they, just, oh, yeah. they got up there and they're doing that line dance. It seems to be kind of a country, more of a country western thing probably than anything else. But it's just all kinds of people doing line dances, which was fun. Mm -hmm. In fact, I think Lisa and them, they've got it set up or going somewhere. They're really going to learn it. I mean, oh, line dance some, class. So, you know, it's going to happen. She'll come home and you're going to have to learn the line dance. Well, I'll just follow. <laughs> Not very well, but I'll just follow. Uh, a lot of kids coming back to school get the yeah. uh, assignment write a little essay what you did on your summer vacation. What would you write if someone gave you that assignment? What? Well, if I'm going back to school, which I'd like to, <laughs> <laughs> but college, <laughs> you know, what, what did I really like, you know? I mean, I'll tell you what, what I, probably comes to mind, and I went up north and mm -hmm. enjoyed that. I mean, northern Michigan is a cool place to go to. Cool, really cool place to go. But, you know, I think it's this summer weather was about as good as we could ever hope for. Don't you? I mean, we had great weather, great, mm -hmm. I don't care if it's lake weather, golf weather, then at night it got cool a lot of times, 50s, 60s, and 
you know, but it was just a beautiful summer to be in Jackson, Michigan, and mm -hmm. in, in the surrounding area, and enjoy the outside. So, I think this summer's weather has been unbelievable. I was talking to a farmer last night, right. and they have, uh, they've never seen their plants grow as tall. Really? It's been so great. I mean, the, the timing wow. of the, the heat and the rain yeah. and everything has yeah. been perfect. Wow. So, I yeah. Realize that. Oh, that's cool. That really mm -hmm. is cool. I, hope, I mean, I've been looking at watching. I, I love these guys around here, little farmer guys that have got their little stands out there. That's mm -hmm. kind of cool, you know, yeah. stop in there and get fresh corn and get other fresh things, tomatoes, mm -hmm. whatever it happens to be. But, yeah, that's really cool. Yeah. It's the season for corn, tomatoes, peaches, well, everything. It's, it's everything. Peaches. We don't grow peaches around here, do we? Yeah, we grow peaches here. Do we? Yeah. Uh, onions. Oh. Have big, giant onions. Yeah. 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 I love onion, too. I really do. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you don't mind, but while you were up north, I, uh, I put your uh, Clark Clark place on VRBO. And well, thank you. Did you get yeah. it very much? <laughs> Hopefully they left it in good shape. <laughs> yeah, right. uh, they didn't take much. <laughs> uh, I know you're a big fan of Bright Wallace coming up in oh, two weeks from today. Is it two weeks from the day? Isn't that right, Brendan? Did you really check it out? Two it's, weeks from the day? Uh, yeah. Well, I think you've got to do that. Number one, they've done a great job on every year. This would be the grand finale, even though I've challenged them. I said, you guys got to come up with something else to start doing. <laughs> That's really cool for Jackson. I know it'll be outstanding. Just be, it's just going to be... It's a great activity for Jackson. Entertainment to the painters to mm -hmm. just people coming here. It probably attracts a bunch of people too, I'll bet. It's unbelievable. We see, especially on a, on a Saturday or Sunday, we right. see people walking around uh, with a little brochure. Yeah. Uh, they're, you know, you tell them they're from out of town. Right. No, they've done yeah. such a great job. Just a great job on that. So hopefully I'll be around for that. Football starts. Football. Now, you have a grandson. I do. Playing football. I do. At Western. At Western. And he is a stud. He's going to be on JTV this weekend. Will you guys be out there? Yes. I'll be there tomorrow night. Yes. Tomorrow night. It's, you know, I think it's opening. Some, I guess some schools open today. Yes. Half the, night. Actually, half the schools uh, in Jackson County start today. The other half start tomorrow. Well, is that how it does? Yeah. I mean, you tell me. I'll tell you, people. I think this most exciting event there is when you have somebody especially involved. But I mean, professional sports is great, but it's professional sports. Mm -hmm. College has turned into professional sports. It seems yeah. like a lot of money and everything. This is pure, good old America fun, I think. Friday night, football, bands, cheerleaders, and the big game, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's a big game for anybody that's participating. And those kids are just hyped. Last night, I took my grandson out to have dinner. We had dinner, and uh, we, uh, you know, it's just, you know, he's just so pumped. He's so into this. It's just, mm -hmm. I just saying, you said, you know, I told him, I said, enjoy this moment because this is special. What gear is Mitchell? Junior. Junior. Oh, wow. This is a big gear for that. He is a junior and he's, you know. And what position does he play? He's actually playing a couple of different positions. He plays an outside lamb, linebacker. They also will play him some at uh, a safety and whatever. He's real fast too. He's going to be a running back. Oh, wow. He's on the kickoff team. I don't think he's a receiving team. Um, so he's going to play a lot, mm -hmm. but, you know, he's fast and he's strong and, you know, Mitchell's 6'1 and 185. And, um, you know, last year when you guys had the one time, I don't know, maybe more than one time, you know, whoever it was, that he was a one-man wrecking crew out there, you know, when he was really just going after everybody. So it's, it's fun, you know, and my grandchildren, you know, mean everything to me, and it's just fun to see. And I can't wait tomorrow night. We're going to go. Tomorrow night? Is that live tomorrow night? We can't do it live. Oh, we can't do it live. Oh, you can't, can't do it live. Can't do it live. Oh, yeah, can't do it live because I'm not, yeah. Yeah, that makes us a uh, restrict right. where you can do live. Well, yeah, yeah. So but I'm we'll tape that. it and we'll have it for you this weekend. Absolutely. Yeah. Live tonight in Hanover. Thursday yeah. night in Hanover. Start of the weekend there. Yeah. Did you go to the, get to the fair this year? Oh, yeah. We yeah. to the fair. We had a good time for the fair. You know, we had a good time. You know, we won some great prizes again, like I always talk about. Mm -hmm. and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we did some of that. We rolled the rides. It was nice. I think they did a nice job with it. Really nice job. I mean, it was... It was fun. We ate the food. <laughs> the food we eat, I can't even begin to believe the food we eat. We're just, you know, eat all this terrible stuff for us, but it was great. You know? <laughs> yeah, once a year, right? you know. It's oh, dude, I like doing it anyway. I mean, it's just, just, I just like that. It was just, it was a good time. Good time. We've got so many things going on this weekend. What's going this, on? Well, it's the last weekend of August. Not the last weekend of summer, no. but the last weekend of the month. We've got Civil War Muster. Civil War Muster. Cruise Night. Cruise night tomorrow night? Symphony. 
yeah. JSO, outdoor. Big Heroes and Heroines Summer Pops concert. Yeah, I'm not, I should be going. I've got too many other things I'm doing too. Uh, so tonight, mm -hmm. actually, we're going to probably go out for dinner. Probably going to go out to the point, just the two of us, listen to the music, hopefully watch the sunset if there is any. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, I'm going to go watch basketball, or basketball, football. football. Saturday, I'm doing the, I'm going to be at the Michigan Theater talking about, I don't know if you know Larry Artist, you don't have Larry on, JJ, he's got mm -hmm. that program. Yes, Larry Artist, uh, we, Larry Artist asked to come on, we were all booked up this week. But Larry Artis has a thing for uh, right. his Catch a Kids uh, right. mission on Saturday at the Michigan Theater. What yeah. time is that? Six o'clock. Six o'clock. It's um, free. Yeah, so I've got to do that. So you'll be a featured speaker there. I'm, well, I'm one of the speakers. I'm not sure what I'm going to talk about. But uh, <laughs> Larry says, what are you going to talk about? You know, he's got what I want to, and it's really about kids and, mm -hmm. you know, how giving kids a chance when they start out and, you know, if they don't have a, a home life that's nothing but insecure, mm -hmm. they've probably got real issues out there. So yeah, he you know, helps a lot of kids. It's, it's a tough, great job. tough thing, you know. And the next week, yeah, next week is Labor Day weekend. Mm -hmm. So if we close on Friday. No, we just close on Monday. I Maybe mean, we probably close early. I don't even know. But yeah, it's, it's gonna be a fun, you know, get out and do one of these things. There's different things to do this weekend. And the Civil War muster. I don't know if I'll make it there, but I used to always like to ride my bike over there and just walk around and see these people in these long coats, wool coats, walking around in 85 degree weather. <laughs> so, can I be one of you guys yeah. too? I mean, well, it's authentic. Well, it is authentic. They fought with you know the right. five degree weather, and they also fought with ten degree weather. Right. No, they haven't been here for a couple of years. Is that right? right? Three years. In three years. I believe that it's been. It'll be three year, three year gap between musters. Who really runs that for Jackson? You know who does that? Well, or? it's a it's a volunteer group, uh, and it's headed up by. Maurice Imhoff. Okay. He's doing an unbelievable job. Yeah, well, it'll be fun. You know, just go and enjoy all the different things around here. And mm -hmm. It's going to be a good weather weekend, too. Enjoy it the lakes, be. enjoy the golf, enjoy. Well, I hope you have a Cook great on. weekend. Thanks for coming in today. My pleasure. Thanks for, thanks for having me. Back Appreciate from it. summer vacation, Rick Walton. That's it.